Wow. And we've had some human tracks in the snow up in the mountains. Lots of folks getting up this weekend, the long holiday weekend with all that snow in the mountains, Loveland ski area. Uh, Dustin sent in this photo from the first chair to say, yeah, we had cloud cover most of the day. And this is from Jeff Howe at Vista Trail in Boulder out snowshoeing. Absolutely gorgeous outside in Denver. Now it's very quiet. We have mostly cloudy skies and the storminess has left our area. Our temperature now 32 degrees in downtown 33 at DIA but we still have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere so we could see some some fog developing into tonight our winds about nine miles an hour so watch for low visibilities tomorrow morning as well as icy roadways our temperatures will go below freezing tonight so it's going to be a little icy for any water that is remaining on the roads it'll be much warmer this week though we're really going to turn on a dime and be back in the mid to upper 50s as we go through the middle of the week and sunshine will return for the mountains now we have had varying amounts of snowfall across the front range. We had some really good upslope in the overnight hours. So our southern suburbs and western suburbs got more of the snowfall in the range in the range of snowfall totals. Seven inches for Highlands Ranch, 5.8 for Lone Tree, 4.5 for Castle Rock and for Wheat Ridge, five for Arvada, and then at DIA only 2.2 inches of snowfall. As you see on our satellite radar picture, the snow has left the Front Range and the Eastern Plains, but we still have snow to the south from Pueblo to Lamar. <coughs> And this is just one little batch of energy that's pushing off to the east. That huge parent storm that has made its way off to the east that was bringing us our snow last night um, has moved off. So now we're just dealing with this last little bit of snow. Here in Denver, though, we have mostly cloudy skies, and those clouds will move out tonight as well. And as you see, by tomorrow morning, we'll clear out the snow from southern Colorado, and things look much better into tomorrow afternoon. Perhaps a few flurries down toward Telluride tomorrow during the day, otherwise quiet across the state. For the next few days, the sun shines going to come out and stick with us a little while. Winter weather advisory, the last one still remaining until 11 o'clock tonight down for southern Colorado. So we're just getting the last little gasp from that moisture down south. 20 degrees tonight. We'll have cloudy skies and those temperatures mostly in the teens and 20s across the eastern plains. We'll have teens for the mountains and single digits up towards Steamboat and Craig this evening. Now tomorrow we'll get up to about 46 degrees. I took the temperature down just a little bit because if we have fog in the morning, it'll be a little while to burn it off and then our temperatures will be affected by that but after that we'll get up into the 50s highs for tomorrow in the 40s here across the front range 30s in the mountains and 40s for the western slope and you see this warm up on the seven day forecast it's pretty fabulous 55 degrees on wednesday 56 on thursday which is our bright spot then a slight chance on friday night of a few scattered flurries as a system pushes through and cools us down to 42 degrees on saturday then we'll have 45 sunday and 47 monday Still a little warmer than we should be this time of year, but not too far off. And really just this little cold snap with some snow for a couple of days. And then we're right back to it with those temperatures in the 50s. Right back to it. Mm -hmm.